Hello and welcome to Glucal Television. In today's episode of Cinemania, I would be reviewing a film which created quite a buzz in the past couple of weeks. Bulbul was released on 24th of June 2020 on Netflix. Big mansions have big secrets, won't be noting. The mansion here is a Victorian era building wisely selected to narrate a tale of a rural Bengal in 1881. The mansion did have its share of secrets which unfold as the story progresses but there is hardly any mystery or big revelation. We don't do marriage. We do everything. We don't do marriage. We don't do marriage. It is 19th century Bengal and child marriage is still prevalent. The story begins with one such marriage where Bulbul, our protagonist, is married off at a tender age to a wealthy zamindar Indronil played by Rahul Bose. But Bulbul finds her companion in her brother-in-law Satya who is the same age as her. This was quite common in those days and might remind many of Tagore's own Nostonir camaraderie with Kadomori Devi immortalized by Shotpujit Ray in Charulata. <laughs> Fast forward 20 years later, we see a grown up Bulbul, played by Tripti Dimri, adorned in silk saris and expensive jewellery. She has a mischievous smile. Her brother in law, with whom she has spent her formative years, is surprised by her change in appearance. This change in character and other secrets are revealed as we are taken back time and again through flashbacks. The lighting and set direction is unconventional. The night scenes which depict the time of the witch when she hunts for blood is marked by pink and amber light and that includes the color of the moon which is symbolic to the movie. There have been many experiments in the past with the color of the sets and the scenes, especially in recent times uh, since the advancement of the technology. But in this case, it does not look convincing. Also, the use of music in few scenes seems unnecessary. For instance, a house buzzing with people gathered for the grand occasion of marriage should have provided background music options to the creator rather than the artificial music one finds. The performances of the actors are decent with exception to Tripti Dimri who has successfully portrayed the transition in her character. Both Rahul Bose and Parambodha Chattopadhyay have portrayed their characters well. Pauli Dam, as we know, is capable of playing adverse characters and she proved it yet again in this movie. Bulbul is an ambitious project and it also marks the directorial debut of Anvita Dutt. Her feminist narrative tries to debunk the conventional idea of witches, which is prevalent to this day in many parts of our country. The feet of her women are the centerpieces of Dutt's film. Whether it's the first scene when young Bulbul sitting on a tree branch swears her legs or when she enters the mansion after marriage with feet drenched in vermilion water leaving her footprints in the corridor or in the tales of the witch where she walks with twisted feet. Anvita Dutt has tried and to some extent been successful in recreating the neoclassical era of 19th century Bengal and in constructing a story based on popular folklore. But if you want a story riddled with mystery and horror, you might be a tad bit disappointed. Teen Slate films owned by the sibling duo Anushka and Karunesh Sharma have backed novel ideas in the past. Anvita Dutt's Bulbul, while not in the same league as NH10 or Padalok or even Pari, can finally be seen as another feather on the cap of Clean Slate films. 
If you like this review, then please like and share. Do not forget to subscribe the YouTube channel of Glocal Television and also like the Facebook page of Glocal Chatbox. Thank you and goodbye.